Several years ago, a daring decision led a Hawaii-based couple on an adventurous journey to Detroit. However, their transition was far from smooth, marked by a shocking phone call from a contractor that left them flabbergasted. Kim and Terry Bowman, former Hawaiian residents, embarked on a move to Detroit, Michigan, and began their quest for a new home. They eventually purchased a neglected property, fully aware that it required some renovation. The property held a particular allure for the couple, a swimming pool that they envisioned as a future source of enjoyment for their grandchildren. Within a month of acquiring the property, the couple contacted a contractor to secure their swimming pool. To their disbelief, the contractor revealed that their pool no longer existed, and City Hall was responsible for its removal. The pool had been deemed a safety hazard, prompting contractors to fill it in without notifying the new homeowners. Terry Bowman expressed bewilderment, explaining that they were only aware of a few necessary repairs for the property, including fixing the fence and draining the pool. Learning that the pool had disappeared entirely led him to accuse the local authorities of going overboard. He wasn't alone in holding this opinion. Kevin Bradley witnessed the pool's filling on the day it occurred and shared his concerns with WXYZ TV News. He observed contractors using discarded pieces of concrete to fill the pool, suspecting that it might have come from roadwork projects. This incident wasn't isolated, as another house in the area faced a similar issue, with plywood simply laid over the pool after a complaint was lodged. The Bowman's primary concern, apart from the vanishing pool, was the uncertainty regarding the material used for filling it. Terry Bowman expressed their apprehension, stating that they had no knowledge of what might lie beneath the cap of clay, possibly including hazardous materials. Adding to their frustration, the improper pool filling resulted in significant damage to their newly acquired property. WXYZ TV News reported damage to the garden fence and sidewalk, with no one willing to take full responsibility for the consequences. Kim Bowman stated that nobody was willing to own up to the damage caused. The controversy surrounding the situation eventually drew the attention of City Hall officials, prompting the dispatch of a representative, David Bell, Detroit's building director, to provide further insights. According to Bell, the Bowman's pool had been classified as an emergency safety hazard, which justified the lack of prior notification to the homeowners about the necessary work. He explained that, unfortunately, in emergency situations, the city lacks the luxury of tracking down property owners in advance. Bell defended his stance by emphasizing that the situation warranted immediate action. However, the reporter remained skeptical of this assertion due to the significant time gap between the initial neighborhood complaint in June 2014 and the pool's filling in the summer of 2015. The reporter questioned the interpretation of immediate action given the delay. In response, Bell contended that once the issue came to his attention, the city acted promptly to address the situation. However, online reactions to Bell's comments were largely negative, with some individuals even labeling the city government as incompetent. Others questioned the Bowman's choice to move to a state known for its bureaucratic challenges. Nonetheless, Bell acknowledged that the pool filling had not been executed as expected and pledged to investigate the specifics of what transpired with the Bowman's pool. WXYZ TV News also committed to continuing its efforts to uncover the truth. Despite the cynicism and criticism, the Bowman's remained steadfast in their decision. They reiterated that their primary goal in moving to the state was to be actively involved in neighborhood revitalization efforts demonstrating their commitment to contributing positively to their community's future.